So if you're selling on Amazon, you're probably curious as to how much room do you have to actually grow? Hi, my name is Aaron Farrell with Sellers Arena. And in today's video, we're going to be talking about exactly that. We're going to be looking into the new search query function in order to be able to determine how much of a potential sales growth lift you could have on your account just by targeting the most relevant keywords. Stay tuned. All right, guys, so hopping right into it here, you're probably wondering, how do I know how much growth I actually have? Well, in this video, we're going to be going over exactly that day in and day out. I'm often performing audits on different people's advertising accounts right before they consider working directly with us. And one of the major metrics that actually can be a determining factor is how much market share does a company actually have? currently, right? That way we can know how much growth potential there actually is. So diving right into it here, basically, if you want to get to the screen, you can just go to brand and the brand analytics. And once you're there, you can just click on the search query performance tab. Now, once you're here, you have a couple options. So basically, first, you're going to select your brand, um, and then you're going to actually select the reporting range. So you can either select monthly, quarterly, or weekly. And this is something that's actually kind of newer because before uh, you didn't have as much granular data, but now you can actually do, I think it's up to like a week or two weeks on the week by week basis. But I'm just looking at a monthly at, or during this example, uh, mainly because when looking on a monthly, we have a little bit more statistical significance, right? It's not just we had a good week or we didn't have a good week, right? It's more taking a look at the whole versus a very short amount of time. Now, quarterly could potentially give you even more insight, right? Uh, in terms of exact granularity, but on a monthly basis, generally you're going to be able to at least start to notice trends, you know, up or down and kind of just have a good litmus test for where your brand's at and how much growth you actually have. So once you've selected uh, your specific reporting range, of course, then you select the year and then the month. As of recording this right now, it's actually September 1st, but we're actually not even seeing the data past July, right? So data is a little bit more delayed, it seems like, through the monthly report versus switching it over to weekly. But again, for this example, we're just going to be taking a look at the monthly. So the next thing you're going to want to take a look at, which unfortunately, I'm going to have to blur out here, but it's going to be the search query. And these are all going to be keywords that your brand is actually seen as very relevant for from Amazon. And the search query score is essentially showing you how relevant. So the lower the number, the more relevant for that particular search term you actually are. In addition, we can actually see how much search query volume there is, right? And this gives us a lot of insights because typically when we're running PPC, when we're trying to optimize our listings, you know, all these different factors, we're not really knowing exactly how much much real search volume there actually is. And we're kind of reliant on other tools that are going to tell us estimations rather than exact numbers. Well, in this particular case, one of the use cases that we've used in our agency is we were actually able to identify a specific search term and create a campaign with those particular keywords that we're trying to improve the overall ranking and the overall brand share on. So you can really start to get very targeted on your advertising campaign campaigns in relation to what Amazon is selling you directly as to where you're the most relevant, right? So I'm not going to go into all of the different metrics here because there is a metrics glossary that you can go through if you're actually interested in learning, you know, every single thing on this guide. But one thing I do want to really point out here is if we scroll over, we can actually see, you know, the brand share for all of these keywords. So number one, keyword, right? Essentially saying that 
on the purchases, we're only getting about 0.04%. Now this is more of a broad term and maybe it may not be the best term for PPC, right? So it's a little bit harder to target the overall market share on the biggest term. But you can see down here, we've got another one that's 100% and this is actually their brand name. So that's where we want it to be, right? We don't want people searching our brand and then essentially seeing another product and purchasing that other product product that is in our brand after we already spent the money and invested the money to get them to know I can trust our brand, right? And then, yeah, further on down, we've got a 30%, an 8%, a 50%, then some more 100%, which these actually aren't brand keywords. So that's really, really good. Same with this 50%, move my head out of the way a little bit, 50%, 100%. 6.25%, 6.25%. You can kind of get the idea here, right? The less the brand share on that particular keyword, especially on these most relevant keywords, the top, let's say 10 or 20 of them, right? We want to really try to see how we can go about gaining more and more market share. And now that we're actually seeing these insights, this is exactly what we're doing in our Amazon agency. We're basically taking a look at a brand by brand basis and trying to pull and extract those keywords out that we can really start to hone in and focus on on PPC. Alternatively, once you've got those keywords and you know that you're already relevant, as the conversion rates, or I mean, as the conversions overall increase on that particular keyword, you're also getting the organic rank boost. So now all of a sudden it's like a snowball effect of sales, right? You're not only getting PPC traffic, but you're also getting tons and tons of organic sales. And you know, the PPC is kind of uh, supporting your organic sales, but they're not capitalizing your sales overall. A lot of times we also see that too, where maybe a brand comes to us and they've got an over cannibalization of their actual PPC versus the regular organic sales. So maybe like 50 or 80% of all of their sales are actually coming from PPC, which is awesome, right? Getting tons of sales from the PPC, but you've got to ask yourself at some point, why is that not going down, right? Like why am I not able to spend a little bit less on the PPC and just focus in on, you know, ranking up on the proper keywords and starting to get more organic sales. That way you're not relying if Amazon comes in, suspends your advertising for some reason, you're not going to be you know, going from $100,000 a month to zero overnight, right? Because you're not fully reliant on just the PPC traffic. So this is just a way to kind of take a look and do a little bit of analysis on your brand. Hopefully this has been informative for you. If it has, I'd really appreciate if you gave us a like, hit that subscribe button, and also hit the notification bell to be notified of other videos just like this one. And if you have any questions about this content, or perhaps you'd like like us to really dive in to your account and take a look, go ahead and click in the link below. I've got a schedule call link right below this video, and I'd be happy to hop on with you, you know, take a look and run a, a full intensive audit for you to let you know where your growth opportunities are. And then if it looks all good, maybe we could perhaps work together. So again, appreciate you guys watching this video today and hopefully you can take some action and apply this information. I'll see you on the next one. Peace.